10 Shocking Facts About the Egyptian Book of the Dead Number 10. Not a single book. The Egyptian Book of the Dead is not one book, but a collection of spells intended to guide the deceased through the afterlife. These spells were customized for each individual, reflecting their life and status. Number 9. Papyrus of Ani One of the most famous versions, the Papyrus of Ani, offers a richly illustrated and comprehensive collection of spells, providing valuable insights into the religious beliefs and artistic achievements of the New Kingdom period. Number 8. Heart versus Feather One of the most iconic spells describes the weighing of the heart ceremony, where the deceased's heart is weighed against the feather of Mahat, the goddess of truth and justice. This determined whether the soul would achieve eternal life. Number 7. Spell Numbers The spells, or chapters, in the Book of the Dead have no fixed order, and their numbers can reach up to 200, varying widely from one version to another. This lack of uniformity shows the personalized nature of each copy. Number 6. Magic Spells for Protection The texts include spells to ward off dangerous creatures of the underworld, such as serpents and crocodiles, ensuring safe passage for the deceased. These magical spells highlight the Egyptians' belief in the tangible power of words. Number 5. Use of Amulets The Book of the Dead often references the use of amulets, which were placed on the mummy for protection and to provide magical assistance. These amulets were considered essential for navigating the challenges of the afterlife. Number 4. The Field of Reeds The texts describe an idyllic afterlife location known as the Field of Reeds, where the souls of the just could live in a paradise reflecting their earthly life. This vision of the afterlife emphasized the continuation of familiar earthly pleasures. Number 3. Transformation into a Biar One spell facilitates the deceased's transformation into a Biar, a soul bird that could travel between the underworld and the living world. This transformation allowed the dead to visit loved ones and partake in offerings. Number 2. The Opening of the Mouth Ceremony The book includes spells used during the opening of the mouth ceremony, a ritual that reanimated the mummy by magically opening its mouth for breathing, eating, and speaking in the afterlife. This ceremony was crucial for the deceased's survival in the afterlife. Number 1. The Role of Anubis Anubis, the jackal-headed god, is frequently invoked in the Book of the Dead for his role in mummification and guiding souls to the afterlife. His presence in the texts underscores his importance in the death and burial rituals. 